Morning everyone. Uh, this is my day on the River Dune. Uh, obviously, seasons went on a bit. We've got a couple of months left, obviously, the salmon season. Trout season, not, not far off that as well. But I should really be fishing for salmon, but it's very quiet, the salmon fishing stuff. Uh, if I see a fish, even with my trout rod, I'm quite happy to fish for it. Uh, I've had many a salmon on up the trout rod, so it's, and I still play them as hard. It's a small river, so it's not like it's a big, big river like the Spey, the Tay, where you've no chance. Really, when the wait, you've got the the water, the, the wood, the water, and the the speed. Here we've got. I mean, this is a stream in comparison to the the bigger rivers. So you can easily land. I've landed probably more fish on a single-handed rod. Salmon anyway, uh, then I have a double, so even though I enjoy fishing the double handed rod, it's good fun. But to get an idea, it's 7.33 in the morning. If they get a lot of rain and wind as the day goes on, uh, in the afternoon supposedly. So I thought I'd get down for a couple hours. It's my day on the river doing so, see how we get on and maybe get one or two trout. They say I've got I always keep a wee salmon fly or something in my pocket. I am fishing a nine foot four weight, which is uh, definitely light for a fishing for salmon or grouse. But I mean, I'm quite happy to land on a rod this size, ten pound rainbow, and a trout fishery. So. Anyway, I'll have a bit of fun. I'm not sure what to do. While we're talking, I'm, uh, I'm looking at the river as well, just to see what it's like. See if there's anything moving. I think I've actually got uh, the last time I was fishing. Uh, is it a tapered leader, I think? Is it? Yeah, it is. So I'll start off with a dry fly and a small, a small nymph off the bend, and see how we got on. We basically set up. Now I've got basically is a hare's ear nymph, and the point I've got. This is three pound nylon, fluorocarbon, so it's really it's quite fine. I've got a favourite sort of dry indicator if you want to pull it, uh, call it, sorry, tied to the bend of the hook. Uh, this is a Dynamite Harry. Now this is a March Brown but it's a very good, uh, how can I put it, it gives the impression of caddis as much, even though it's got an upwing but it's because of the type of body it's on it, it's going to put some muslin on it. It's a light coat and don't put much on. Just into the, the body and the wing. Uh, then I've got a tapered leader. Down to, it's a four pound. It's a nine foot. I've actually added a wee bit extra to it. Same, just to give it, a, it's probably around about 
12, uh, 9, 10, 11, 11 to the dry fly and then I've got uh, about 3 foot, just less than 3 foot to the, to the nymph and we'll, we'll just search for fish because while I was obviously setting up I was watching, listening uh, never saw anything at all, it's still early like I'm up for a cut, I'm only up to lunch time now the the small it's just a hairs ear pheasant tail type but it's tied with copper wire and it's on a what do you call it, it's a heavy barbless hook it's one of the full of mill hooks and it drops just a nice pace as you can see the river's low, the river's at summer level as they call it it just doesn't drop below that so Quite a long leader, but certainly takes me away from the fly. I'm just going to try along the edge first before I even go near the water, just to see if there's any fish close. This falls nice, that is a nice natural fall. Gosh, I went to lift off there on the wee trout to the nymph. There you go. Must be brownie. Oh, it's a bit. Guys back out there, just get my, my line to go through it. That was a good start. Well, a good start, meaning I've had a fish on already. <laughs> so the nymphs. Uh, it's a good wee pattern, like a suggestive type pattern, so anyway there we are. Uh, I'll try up further up. These wee trout, they tend to, when you move a fly, they, they chase it. So that's why times you, when you go to lift off, Suddenly you get a, there's a wee fish as I go at your fly. Uh, these wee trout are like that. It's a totally different river from the uh, the river air I fished the other day there. It's amazingly different. Like well, we get grayling as well in the river air. So and it was all grayling I caught, and uh, I had to really. Hunt fish, try and find fish. And uh, well, you don't have to do that here, it's just these are a, a different breed of fish, really. It's brownie as well, they're just wild. I mean, I'm not saying the fish are in the, the river air, they're wild fish as well, but they've got a different idea of what a fly should look like at times. Oh, there's a trout just cleared the water there. I'll put that fly up where I saw that fish, it's right in the fast water. This is sometimes where you need a nymph that sinks. Oh, there you go, again, just as I went to lift off. A wee brownie had a, a go at the... Where are we? Here we are. There you go, a different type of fish, there you go. Lovely wee fish. Go back in, that fish had jumped there. It was a bigger fish, so we'll, we'll try for it. I 
and see if we can catch it. And a heavier nymph might be better, like a, a bead in this faster water to get down a wee bit deeper and quicker. We'll give it a go anyway. You've got to be able to change to suit the type of water you're fishing and be willing to do that. Uh, if you want to catch fish anyway, you've got to keep changing. That's quite nippy, it snipping through there quite quick, so a beaded fly would be better in there. Just to get a wee bit, get the nymph down and Slow up a wee bit. We'll try it, see how we go on. We'll just take that off and put a bead it on. Changed for the wee, I mean, I know I've just started, but I've changed already. But I've just changed to suit the type of water that I'm fishing. This is just a wee quilled bodied olive, but it's got a two and a half mil tungsten bead on it. And uh, I might fish it a wee bit quicker into the, the deeper water. So we'll see if that makes a difference. I'll make a difference to the dry fly that will slow up. Oh, there we go. Gosh. First cast. And I'm into a bigger fish. What a difference. <laughs> there you go. Told you it works. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Nice wee brownie. Didn't fight very much, like, but. Uh, oh. Waking it up, I think, now. It's just caught in the scissors, so that's why it's holding so well. Oh. Turn them upside down. It's just got in the scissors there. Even my barbless hook. Beautiful. Lovely brown trout. Anyway, there you go, first cast. Just getting the fly down that wee bit deeper makes a difference. That was a quick result, just to show you the difference it makes by just changing the weight of the fly and uh, straight away we had a nice trout. Uh, we'll try a wee bit closer here. It's a bit harder to turn the fly over, but you can still get it to come over. Just press it straight up and into the, the main run. Just let it drift through. Once we think the leader's a wee bit long, uh, it's more set up just for the dry fly itself. So you could shorten the leader a wee bit. But, oh, I think that was a wee tap there. Back up. I can see the dry fly a good distance away, so. Try filler a bit. That may have been that trout I saw just jump clear of the water. It was about the right size. Up and right up and over. There we go. 
Let me go. It's just a small fish. Oh, there he is. Do it like a demon. Oh, he's away. So there you go, another one. I'll go back out. It's a good. There's fish looking at a feeding. There we go again. It's another wee fish. It's a great sign, there's fish there. Oh, there's away again. See if we can maybe find another one, a bigger one. I've only covered a small part of the, the, the stream. There we go again. Seems a bit bigger. Oh, it's, oh, it's a wee sea trout. Oh, he's away. Bugger. That was a wee sea trout as well. Gosh, we're doing well today. Go back out. That was a wee whatland, so... Or a wee sea trout. I'll have to... Keep them on to let you see it, but anyway... That's what happens when you're fishing barbless. If they do a bit of jumping, they tend to come off. Like that, sometimes. I want to get trying... Slightly further up here. The fish seem to be in the fast water, especially this, just off the back of this here. It's ideal. I'll run through. I'm glad to put that bead on now, just to show you the difference. It's just. My intention was to fish under the trees here at first and uh, so I may have to change back to a lighter fly when I come out of this run Try to get closer Don't have the best back cast here but I can't see my fly. You can't see your fly, it's not worth fishing it. It's best to lift off. Oh, a wee tap there. It's going through nicely. Yeah. I'll just try a wee bit further over. Oh, ah. that was a good fish. That was a nice brownie. Again, jumped off. What a stream this is today. The fish are really in the mood. That was in the slacker water here, so... So the fly had plenty of time to settle. So it was right down. Well, the nymph anyway. Just a wee pause there, best to strike. I'm just going to move out a wee bit further, this fish further a wee bit over. Just towards the bank and Towards the, I keep saying towards the wall, it is a wall. It's been built there many years ago to protect the bank. So,
I hope I get another chance of catching a, another wee, a wee sea trout and try and land them because I haven't landed one yet. I keep losing it. Well, I have, have sorry, I have landed one, but I, I keep jumping off. If I had a barbed hook, I would land them, but I, I want to return them, so. Uh, Surprised they haven't had a go at the dry, because normally they, they really are, they like going for the dry too. So they do. I may change to a different dry just to see if they'll come up for another one. But we'll keep this one on just now. a lot of water to fish so I don't want to spend too long. It's quite hard not to fish a, a, a run like this, especially when you're catching. Or to stop fishing it anyway. You can feel the wind picking up a bit. We have to get a, 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 quite a bit of rain and wind today so later in the day. Oh, missed that one. Too busy talking. It's natural, like the flies drift. Just keep up with your line, or keep up with your your fly as it comes towards you. Because if you do get a take, you you don't have any slack line, or too much slack line between you. And uh, I'm down. Hmm. Try over there again. It's, it could be shallow there. It's turning over really well. That. So the balance is nice on that. The fly is drifting. The dry fly is sitting nice. Uh, and the cast is turning over really well. Okay, we'll get another wee in there and then we'll go head down start to work through the pool to see I'm gonna got a lot of water to go through so we've done well now we'll try the, the main areas here is close to the wall that's why this method works I can get my my nymph right up against it Not that that's exactly where the fish are going to be, but most fish like to lie against it. I've actually noticed a couple of yellow maize coming off. There's a few wee spinners around. Most most times it is best to work up the pool rather than working down. But uh, you can always present the fly back up to where you've just fished. You can always get. A, you cast upstream just like a dry fly. Just allow your fly to drift back along the banking. And as I say, with these trout, just let it swing out. And if you want, even 
pull it because they'll take it times. Just fish it a bit closer. So the streamy water is the, so far the best water. I think what I may do is just maybe ignore the kind of this type of water. I don't know, ignore it, but unless I see fish moving, obviously. But and then concentrate on the main the runs and see how we go on. As I say this that. That seems that will be the area to to fish. So I'm gonna let this swing out because as I say these trout love to chase a fly, so just let it naturally swing out. And it looks like it's going to swim away, they grab at it sometimes. I don't know sometimes, quite a lot. <laughs> you can see that with the small brownies there. Especially the small, you go to lift off and they grab it. Okay, that's me. I'm going to move down to the next stream, or the next pool, and uh, see if we can. I mean, uh, there's going to be a nice trout line just sitting in a nice corner here. I know there will be. Uh, Anyway, we'll move down. This is a really good pool and uh, a run anyway. It's very good with the wet fly and uh, it's going to be dry as well. I've got a lot of dry fish in the dry, isn't it? Anyway, we'll give this a go. Oh, it's kind of screaming through there. Two bits I want to try is the main wee slap piece over there. Just the back. Just in that area. Fly needs to get down really quick, so... Try a wee bit. I'm going to try up. Oh. 
It's maybe only a foot or so, a foot and a half. Maybe deeper there. And catching too much line, I need to move it out. It's actually shallow on that far side, but it's a good bit. You can see the bottom over there. So the area always has a fish lying or is it near the trees. Gosh, it's come through there quicker than I thought. Oh! Was that the bottom? I think it was the bottom actually. So basically what you're doing is you're just presenting a dry, it's like a dry fly under the tree, the nymphs below it. Uh, you're fishing both. Try this wee edge here. See if I can get him to come back. I didn't knock him, there you go. It's just a wee here. You can actually see them coming out and having a, a go at it. Oh, he'll be. It's under that. That's a nice yellow me. So I'm seeing the big fly there will give that impression of a yellow may. As well as a caddis. So it does. It's a great caddis pattern as well as a March Brown. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good sort of all round type pattern. Oh, up the tree. Oh, that's just a wee one. Another wee trout. Oh, that's a great sign. Love catching these as much. They're for wee fish. Just dry fly on, under the trees there. And just up it, the nymph will turn over now, it's just... I say it's always worthwhile casting up, back, back in the water you just fished. I say all I'm doing is just searching, there's nothing rising, just looking for Out. I've been on the water now uh, 40 minutes, so I've done quite well. Oh, got a trout pulled there as I was lifting off. I say, just watch, because they do chase. That, that felt a nice fish too. Let's see if we, sometimes they come back. These wee, the aggressive wee trout, these. They shrug off things. <laughs> come back for more sometimes.
in each pool. I'm just going to work my way through, fish the the kind of like hot spots if you want to call it. I call it another wee fish. It's a good sign, it really is good to see. Let me just wait. That there's plenty of wee fish around. Oops. For the future, as they say. We cast straight upstream here. There's a couple of pools, or at least one anyway. Uh, it really suits wet fly fishing. So it does. So I may change just their cast of wet flies just for that pool. And uh, see how we go on. It's been quiet. Compared to up the top there anyway, it's a wee quieter. I'd love to catch a sea trout, as I say, a small hotland. One or two. I mean, I had my chance, I had one up there. They are very, they're rare, like, you have no idea who. At one time, there was so many in the river that you could hardly fish for them. They were good fun, like, they were fish coming out of nowhere. And they're taking dries, they're taking nymphs, they're taking wets. It's great fun. And they were like trout size, kind of average size, plus uh, some of them are a wee bit bigger. Maybe if you were lucky, you get one, maybe a pound and a half, two pound. Tremendous on the dry fly and a nymph. <laughs> if you could keep them on anyway, that was the, that was the secret, keep them on. Because they bounce, no matter where you're a barbed hook or not, they just, jeez. They jumped everywhere. Sea run fish are amazing. They're so far fitter. And I'm not saying they're a brown trout or not, but they certainly. Oh, there you go, that's a nice fish. That took my, my dry. It's a nice brownie as well. There you go. There you know here. See, the dry. Get one, the dry, one. Oop. That's obviously. It doesn't like me. Just allow him to settle. There you go. Lovely brownie on the dynamite Harry. He's did a great job at knitting here. Oh, he's got an island everywhere. There we go. Lovely fish. Little entangle, what he's done. That's ah, not bad. There you go. A nice brownie. Go back out. Just dried my fly there. Let's use the armadou just to get it to sit back up. Oh, jeez. Just enough. I'm going on to a wee hot spot here. So a couple of takes. It's too slow there on that one. That's this well up. It's allowed the nymph to get right down. It's quite a deep run here. So
you know, that's swing out here. See a bit of disturbance. A big stone in right in front of us, that's probably that, where that fish was lying behind. And we can see it, but it's just, just in front of me here. I'll try another cast or two over it. Just a wee bit too far. There we are, it's right in front. Pop them back across. Hmm. I know it's deep over there. So if you get a draw, it's more than three feet. So it's it's quite a bit of fish, it's quite a bit of some. So that swing out. Got close to the tree, the bushes on the far side again. I was ready for getting out there and moving down to the next run. And as I say, I'm only... I've got a, quite a bit of distance to fish. So I'm only focusing on certain areas. Uh, unless I'm really catching, I'll hang around like I did at the top of you, but... And uh, just fish our way through. There's a lot of good fishy areas here under the trees there. I really should be fishing them, but if the fish were rising, it'd be different. I see fish rising, I'm certainly. I'll work with them, I kind of. I'll get my way to try and catch them. So anyway, that's that was not too bad. That was a nice trout, I think. That was the best trout I've had. Very close to the other one, like. But all of the trout took the dry, so that was fun. Okay, right, we'll move down. Now we're coming down onto this nice pool, the garden pool. We have changed to uh, three wet flies. So I have just, I've got like a, this basically is a, well, it's top dropper. I've got a caddis pooper, an emerger caddis pooper, which is, well, emerger. It's, it's a kind of top dropper, I call it. Uh, I've got it in the middle. It's, it's basically a hen pheasant in yellow, which is an old pattern. But I, put a, I put a pheasant tail nymph in the point, but it's, this one's got a wee gold bead just to get the, the cast down. Sometimes I put it up the line. But there is one or two olives coming off, so I want to. Oh. What have I got here? I'm just going to be fishing, just checking the flies. I caught a, a leaf there, I think. Yeah. So I'm just going to start quite close. 
Oh, okay, straight away, a wee, a wee bump. Uh, it's wee, wee brownies lying in this. It's, it's actually deeper in here than you think. It's a couple of feet deep. The main runs over there. So I'm just keeping in touch with the, the flies and bringing them towards the bank. You see these we these fish like to chase a fly. There. Oh. I got a draw there from the there you go. That was quick. Actually two on. Actually <laughs> two fish. Unless the other ones come off, but I had two in there. And I've still got two on. Jeez. Anyway there's a nice wee brownie there. He's uh, swallowed the fly, so I'm gonna have to use my catch from least tool. So just pop him in. Catch from this tool gets gets down into the fish's mouth without damaging it. And then that's the another one. Here we go. Here he is. Oh, he's off. He was on the point. <laughs> that was a two fish in the cast. That's what happens sometimes. Here we go. Is a good start. Back out. Is there really? Oh, there's another bump. Must be lying full of wee fish. Hopefully there's some big ones lying in amongst them. So we'll swing into this slacker water here. Try a sharp cast again. I would expect in here this area has been the best, uh, best bit. I'm mean, going to just work my way down once I fish the top here. I'm just going to head over a wee bit. I don't want too long a cast because I'll miss fishing. A cast is too long. I'm going to fish off the back of this stone. This, this bit here, I want to cover. I don't really have a back cast here. So I'm just kind of flicking it out. Big try will hang on a wee bit though, hit it hard. So they will.
Well, that was a bit quiet. Normally I get one or two more fish in there, but not today. I got just a two two fish in the one cast, which was uh, something different. Allow the flies to settle a bit, and then we swing around. I think that'll do is I'm just going to move on down keep going just fish this water is just main areas Okay folks, I've headed away down. Uh, we're in sheltered area here. It doesn't sound like it's windy but you'd be surprised where the wind is, how strong the wind is anyway. Now I've actually changed on the way down, I changed to turn the wet flies off, put the dry on and uh, the nymph that I had on at the beginning. It's the olive nymph, and uh, I'm just going to fish this run. I haven't seen a salmon, I've seen nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, had a look, watched a couple of the pools. Very quiet, I mean, it was really quiet just now. It's like the calm before the storm. <laughs> we have to get a lot of rain. Um, so, I'll just give us a wee quick cast. I'm just going to work my way down, steady up and work my way down. There's a, a wee troop there. I took a bit of weed there. Well, I've let this rest a wee bit. I've went down and tried below, but just a couple of wee trout. Uh, nothing. Just wasn't it? Wasn't worth the bother. It's starting to rain now, so I'm going to quickly give this a go. I've still got the dry in them on, and I'm going to try the two fish that rose the oh. hole. One that rose to me and one that rose on the far side. So you see, and then I'll see how the, if it gets too heavy, the rain will work up. If it gets too heavy, I'll not. I'll just go home. But uh, I'll fish up this run as well before I finish. The rain said it'd come by 12, it's half 11, so it's close. 
and uh, I'm not exactly dressed for it, but anyway. Right, oh. The fish that rose earlier, right in that wall there, that's where I got the nymph. So I can get the dry and the nymph right in. Try to get further down. That oh. rose to my dry. Fuck I think I jagged it. Oh dear. Anyway, I got a chance. <laughs> it's not been a great start, an absolutely brilliant start. Can you? See anything wrong with the start? Great. I think what happened there, that fish, I dropped my nymph, it hooked the bank, hooked the, sorry, the wall, and uh, it lifted up and the fish came up and had a go at it. I know exactly where it is, but I don't think it'll come back. It was a nice trout, but try this one a rose. Few fish rose there to the dry. Well, here's the rain coming. I think it's time to head up the road. Up we go. That's that. Wee Brownie decided to oh. take the, the nymph. Right. Is that my I don't know if that was a take, it was just the waves drawing down the, the fly. I got to hit them anyway. Well, the weather man was right. Twelve ish. Uh, quarter to it is. And uh, the rain's here. So, it's time to head home. I've not got much footage today, but anyway, we've got a wee drop from the top. It was a bit of fun. Just a wee quick. Uh, it was a rush to get out. Because the weather's to get really bad as the day goes on, so... If 
anyway I hope you enjoy the video um, it's not going to be much of a video like but the, the wee bit at the beginning was good so it was we had a great start and then things were not so good after that we, a couple of fish on two in the, the one cast it was a bit of fun there we go I'll call this the last one it's the wee brownie there we are folks, that's us for the date <coughs> we can say thanks oop, oop <laughs> oh, is he still there? I thought he'd come off anyway, there we are folks, this is we'll finish with this wee boy if he holds still for a second there we are that will call it the day. Beautiful wee fish. In a way. So anyway folks, I hope you enjoy the, the hour or so in the water. Uh, or the hour of footage or so. We'll get home before we get too wet I think. So again, thanks for watching the video. And I appreciate all the kind comments. And uh, I hope you get a chance to get out yourself and give a fly a go but we'll head home before we get soaked so again thanks for watching and until next time Oops.